Hey guys, so um, I just sent out the invites for uh, the Coursera, access to Coursera. So everybody should have received one. Um, you don't have to wait till Monday. Um, so if you have nothing else to do for the weekend and just want to get started, you know, nothing's going to stop you. So let's kind of go over Coursera, the platform. Take this off. Um, let's kind of go over the Coursera platform and just kind of navigate it. And then I'm going to be sending you some resources as well. And what I'm probably going to do is actually create a Google Drive folder just to as I to continue to collaborate and put in resources just so I'm not bombarding you with emails. Um, and emails tend to get lost and I'm guilty of losing emails and them getting buried probably more than anybody. So just bear with me on that. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's see. Let's start with here. So I'm going to put this in a Google Drive folder um, to see you have access. It's a welcome to Coursera. And it talks a little bit about what Coursera is and yada, yada. Um, so check your inbox. Like I said, everybody should have received um, an email invite um, for the Coursera coursework. Um, click join for free. Um, let's see. Let's see, organization single sign on authentication. You shouldn't, this shouldn't be really too complicated. Um, like it's hard for me to actually go through the process without doing it myself, but it should be pretty intuitive, I would think. So you want to create an account where you would start to create an account. So if you already have a Coursera account from previous classes that you may have taken or signed up or the seven day free trial or whatever it is that you may have done, um, make sure you are logged into the um, logged in in the email that you that I sent the, the invite to that the one that you gave me whenever you signed up for the um, on the Google form. And it's just, just make sure you're in the right email because I did that earlier earlier this week. I was like, I can't find it. And then I realized I was in the wrong email. So um, because I have my own personal and then for work. So just make sure you're in the right email. Um, so you would do, 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 enrolling in a course, choose your course. And we'll go over that here in a little bit. But um, specific for this particular program, then you would click start your course. And starting a course, you would go to your course. Um, then we access course materials and it's all on the left hand side. Um, let me see how far I can get into the preview mode that I have access to as an instructor. And if I have any limitations, I'll show you in the course that I'm actually completing on Coursera on my own. Anyways, um, so this is how you would access course materials. It's on the left hand side. You'll see and um, give me some navigation on the what weeks and stuff. You can see your course progress at a glance. Um, keep track of your grades and completed assignments. Discuss forms for your course. Um, connect beyond. Find in video segments. And the Coursera platform is actually really a great way to learn off of. Um, it's engaging. It's the videos aren't too the. Uh, <laughs> um, it's just fun. So then you can share your accomplishments, um, you know, after you finish it, but let's, you know, we're not there yet. So let's kind of back up a little bit. So let's see if I'm in the right tab. Nope, not that one. Okay. So one of the things um, that you may have noticed is once you receive the invite, you may see something that says Hawking College or Belmont College or Washington State Community College. Um, the reason for that is because um, we're a consortium of those three colleges. I'm at Hawking College, um, but um, be the lead for the consortium of all three colleges. And it's just whichever pot you you landed in. There's they're all the exact same thing. There's no rhyme or reason to it. It was just you know where it landed. Um, so, so if you see that, don't worry, don't fret. It's just in the pot that you're in, so to speak. So what you should hopefully see once you get into it is, you know, something that looks like this. And you'll see tiles. I call them tiles. These are right here. Okay. And if you look, um, if you look on this, it'll tell you like the course one is the technical support fundamentals. And so you would, you would go to is the technical support fundamentals. 
Um, and then since I don't have access to this because I don't have, I'm not utilizing one of the licenses myself, this is where I kind of got kind of limited on navigating you and giving you some you know, clear visual directions. But you should be able to access fairly easily. Um, it talks about week one, week two, week three, week four. Um, it gives you, you know, some information on how long it's going to take. So you can kind of, if you want to just do however you want to do it, you got, you guys know your schedule better than I do. So it talks about four hours to complete. Um, there's 14 videos, six readings and three quizzes, um, uh, five hours to complete for week two, uh, six hours to complete for week three. And week four is two hours to complete. So if you remember on that chart, um, I there was a timeline, there was a schedule of approximately how many hours it would take for each individual course. You guys, like I said, you guys know your schedule better than I do. You guys know if you have the time on the weekend to get all four weeks, yeah, four weeks banged out at once. Um, work within your parameters work within your schedule make it unique to your own so this is how you would get started um i um, you would hopefully see something that says go to course mine says go to invitations where i send it to y'all but you know that's how you get started um let's see this says approximately 23 hours to complete it's in english flexible deadlines we already know that so and then once you get done with that you would just keep on going uh, the second one would be the bites and bits or the bits and bites and that's right there same process you just click click on it and keep going and then trying to think what else i want to go over with y'all i want to pause this for a second and then want to log into my coursera course that i'm taking right now it's on it's a python course and i'll show you what it looks like once you're actually in coursera just to give you some insight on that so i want to pause this while i'll pull that up Okay, I'm back. So I open up another window. So this is what it's going to look like for you. Something similar to this. Mine, like I said, on Python. And on the left hand side, you can see week one, week two, week three, week four. I'm going to move that down. Um, week five, and so on and so forth. So let's see. Let's start with week one. You guys are going to be starting on week one. And um, I mean, talks a little bit um, information on this and you know whatnot. And then if you scroll down a little bit, it goes to the videos. And there's some really nice tools about those videos. Um, okay, so you hit play, obviously. And these videos are usually fairly for this one I'm taking right now, the Python one. They're, they're usually not too my numbing my numbingly long. Um, which is nice. Um, I think the longest video I've seen is 10 minutes. Um, and I'm not sure how long the videos are on the one for the, the program that, that you're doing, but that's nice to know that they're available in that bite sized chunks. So let's see. Working in IT is more than just. A okay. So some of the stuff here on the bottom, there's subtitles, you know, so I'm hearing a pair. So subtitles are like my thing. Um, you can do settings if she talks a little slow or whoever your person is. If they're talking a little slow, you can speed that up. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, you can slow it down if you need to. Let's see what else we got here. And the script. This is what's really cool about it. So there's actually a transcript of what she's talking about. So if you want to... Python in particular is having a huge... I'm going to strength. mute her. <laughs> So, and it actually follows along with, you know, where they're at in the video. So as you're reading through, as you're trying to, you're going through the quizzes or the exams and you're know, trying to understand what it is that you're learning. Um, and if you go, want to go to the specific spot of where they start talking about something that you just need a refresher on, you can read through the script, the transcript here, and you click on it and it'll take you right, get, take you right to that part in the video which is really, really nice. I mean, that is like one of my favorite features about Coursera is the fact that you can do that <laughs> instead of having to like, you know, figure out where you're at and going back and forth. You can actually go to the script part and then click on it and then it goes right to that video, which is a really nice feature. 
So let's see what else. Um, not worried about the time zone thing. Another thing that's on the right hand side is that you can take notes. So if there's something that you're wanting to, you know, take a note on, you can click on it um, and you can like select it. Let's see. And then you can, let's see, remember it's been a while since I've done this. Click save note button when you want to capture. Oh, it's right here. Save note. And then it goes right to it it saves it right on the right hand side and the captions and then you can edit it and then you can delete it um but those are that's a really nice feature as well whenever um you develop your own study habits and your own learning styles that might be some excellent features that can help you just kind of reinforce and to understand and better develop um develop better understanding of the topics that you're learning so um i'm trying to think if there's anything else um there's videos there's reading um there's quizzes every so often practice quizzes and it's a really well done format um once you get a little bit further completed you can see on your grades um as you can see i'm behind on mine but that's okay and you can see the notes that you've taken messages and course info um so just explore a little bit. You guys have access to it now. Um, you guys can start now. You can you guys can spend the weekend to explore. You guys can, you know, just get yourself acclimated to it. Um, you got a couple of days head start. Um, take advantage of it. Have some fun. Have some fun learning because learning is fun. Um, okay, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, um, let me know. I'll be happy to help. See y'all.